Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to take the um, first set of groups that you made and sort of sorting the key keywords out, um, keywords together, clustering them together, or breaking them down into further subgroups if required. Um, um, so we can take this data and then uh, put it into our, um, our analytics, keyword analytics tool to get the monthly search volume, which will give us further um, uh, data and help us sort um, the keywords further if required okay so we have uh, all the cheap classes and I would say exercise dance exercise this is sort of not I don't know how that got there but it's not a pole dance keyword so we just delete it pole dance classes fitness pole dance classes let's put this down into our fitness group And you will notice that you have made mistakes, so we just, it's not really a mistake, it's just that you need to work really fast, so if we need to rest, uh, you know, move keywords around, it, it's, we need to be flexible and move keywords around. Okay, free pole dancing classes, pole class, classes, these all can stay, stay sort of together. This pool is out, totally pole dancing. Then. This is a misspelling, so yeah, let's keep it there. Let's could target at that if it has a search volume, which we'll find out later. Poldance. Let's put this free one down. Dance pool classes. Pole dancing classes will go down also. Cheap and free, sort of. Yeah, we could we could target that keyword if it has search volume, because this user intent is sort of the same. Someone looking to save money on the classes. Exotic dance classes should be out. Should not be there even. Okay, so that's your first group. That's the second one, which is sort of similar. So let it hang in there, some close by. And now we go into the next one, fitness, pole dancing. These are your fitness keywords. Exercise and fitness and workout we have. And then we have a diet keyword also. Let's push that out. Maybe it's got its own group and let's put the fitness ones together on top. Workout, workout. Let's keep that separately. Workout and exercise can be together. So let's mm, this the classes could be again um, someone looking for physical classes or just online. So or just online videos. But for now, let's just group it together, and we'll we can always remove it or put in put it into a separate group once we have the monthly search volume data. All fitness, okay, so that's a fitness keyword. Let's keep the fitness together, pole exercise keyword. Let's keep that here. Pole aerobics, mm. okay, and let's we'll go on the exercise. An exercise class will come there. Let's put this down, and then let's move these up here. And then these are sort of similar. And then a diet and aerobics. Uh, let's just take out the diet for now. It's just going to fragment things too much. And then we have the workout and the fitness group sort of sort of together. You could target the same page with that. Or if the search volumes are high enough, you, we can sort of break these out into their own group, targeting a separate page on your site. That's, that's, that's the psychology behind it. Uh, you need to uh, ultimately decide uh, which pages are going to be targeted for what keyword groups and multiple keyword groups could go to the same page or separate pages if the search the monthly search volume potential is high okay so I'm done with that and let's move on to pull lessons we have 
Okay, lessons, lessons. Is the keyword lessons appearing here? Yes, it is in multiple places. So let's push those out together. Okay, though they would mean the same sort of, let's just put the lessons separate so we can target them as separate keywords with separate uh, pages. Pole dancing moves, pole dance moves. Yeah, and again we see exercise and let's put it back on the one above. Okay. Lessons. So learn pole dancing, learn to pole dance, pole dancing for beginners would be the beginner keywords that should go in the other group. So I'm pushing that down. And again right there how to pole dance like that. beginner pole dancing moves moves mm. beginner pole dancing could go let's keep it sorry in the one above i meant sort of similar group together with this because it's sort of like a how to keyword but if the monthly search volume justifies us, we can break this out into its own group and target a separate page with just these two keywords. Okay, so we did lessons, we did moves. Uh, okay, moves looks like moves does have a potential here. And then we'll just put this beginners on top and then we'll just gonna move all these down sorry and to make space for the moves keyword right there okay so how to pull dance learn pull dancing Ooh, if we have learn on top no we tend to okay so learn pull dancing how to become beginner pull dance classes for beginner pull dance training Pole dance training would then go on the classes, I would say. We could target it. So let's put this back here. Yeah. yeah, let's put the training out there and let's keep the beginner noob, newbie sort of keywords in their own group. So, because we know that the psychology of these keyword searches are someone who's just sort of starting out and just wants to learn and sort of like a how to keyword and we have learned to pole dance which these two could be its own group i would say so let's take the beginner keywords and break the beginner ones out and now to become a pole dancer would also be beginner keywords i'm not saying these are also not like beginner keywords but these are more long tail so you could target separate pages ultimately with those keywords and we'll just put the learn how to learn and how to keywords separately for now yeah the how to and learn information keywords uh that's important right there the how to keywords and the learn to you know, starters and then the beginners they all sort of okay beginner pole dancing here we go another beginner looks like beginner would be a good uh, cluster pole dancing moves and again beginner pole moves there we go. That could be a beginner also. So let's put that in there. Pole dancing moves would be, I would say the tips and tricks. We had a tips and tricks one there. Yeah. And yeah, and we do have moves down here also. So let's take this and combine it into its own sort of similar separate group right there. We have pole dance tricks and moves, yeah, which are sort of similar, but grouped together. Best pole for home use. These are your, these are your physical product keywords. If you're selling physical products, that's they would all come together, right? Because fitness pole, 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 fitness pole. These are like buyer in, uh, not buyer intent, but maybe some sort of info intent first, and then early on in the buy, buying cycle, the buyer intent would be something like buy fitness pole. So this is someone looking to buy a pole, but not yet made up their mind. So if you have an info blog post, then that's what we could create and target these keywords with. 
and again these are the shoes and then the crash mat which would be separate so if you have a crash mat then what we could do is we could sort of uh, uh, look for more keywords if you're selling mats and so let's put it separately and see at a later stage if we can find more keyword combinations again what I've done over here is I've just simply taken the top ranking uh, competitors and spied on their keywords uh, you will definitely have to take these keywords as seed keywords and further do your research and maybe add more to these groups using uh, other tools like Keyword Research Pro or Longtail Platinum or Longtail Pro and uh, further expand on these groups or further break them down. Um, and I will show you in that uh, process in the upcoming videos.